Hello, this is Scott. This is Scott's Computer Pair. Welcome to another one of my Windows 10 installations. This is going to be a Windows 10 installation for a, a Toshiba Satellite L745 S4310. Basically, you're going to need two key things the CD key, I'm mean, a product key, you'll find it on the bottom of your computer. You might want to write it down, take a snapshot of it so you can read it a lot easier. So when you go put it in, you don't have to flip your laptop upside down and stuff like that. Just to keep on punching each letter and another thing. The second thing, you're going to need this CD, Windows 10 64-bit, um, depending on your RAM. But of course, this is a four, it's got 4 gigs of RAM in it. So, yeah, you're going to need this CD. I got the tools to burn yourself a copy in the description below. You can, there's a video, also a YouTube video, how to do it. So if you want to do it, do it that way. Okay. Basically, you want to make sure the CD is in the ROM. Go ahead and put it in, and, at, and what, before you turn it off, because they uh, you're gonna get to open the ROM. This uh, this computer's off, uh, on anyways. So, <clears throat> and once you got the ROM, the CD in the ROM, let's go ahead and turn off the laptop. Go ahead and shut down. Mind you, if you have any pictures or documents that are important to you, you might back up before you do this, because it will wipe it out. And another thing, uh, the factor reset, it will wipe the factor reset out too. So you won't be able to go back to Windows 7 on the factor reset anymore. So think about it, think about it before you perform this thing. So again, back up your pictures or documents. Uh, music or video movies if you have any but it's up to you if you have the space to do it but more than likely you needed you get back of your picture doctor you can easily get the, you can get your movies and music replaced easily so it just takes longer that's all all right uh, basically as I said it will take and reset the uh, get rid of the factory so all right your laptop once your laptop is powered completely down of course you want to make sure your power cord is plugged in okay so, <clears throat> won't get nowhere. Once you're ready, once you're powered on the laptop, you want to tap F12 until the uh, boot menu comes up. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Turning on and tap F12 until that comes up right there. And you want to go to the the ODD TST Corp. CD, DVD, W, it might be different because it might have switched out ROM or they, the company did it itself. But that's pretty much that's going to be it right there. It would say CV, it'd be CD ROM, well it has to be a DVD ROM. But it had, so if it says DVD ROM, it's, so that's where you get to select. So, okay, let's go ahead and after you select it, just press enter and press any key as soon as it comes up like that. And then a boot from the CD. Okay, you want to make sure everything's correct here, like your language to install, your time and currency format, keyboard input method. Normally it's default, anyways. Um, so if you, it just case for any country or different language and stuff. But uh, if you want to ready, just click next. Click install now. Okay, this is where you enter your product key. Okay, you'll find your product key up on the bottom of the laptop. I hope uh, if you took a picture of it, you just write it, type it out as is, and if you write it down, same thing. Okay, those letters can be tricky sometimes. Make sure you got the right letters also. Okay, as soon as you got the product key typed in, go ahead and click next. This is going to verify your product key. This is your Windows 7 product key. Okay, click the accept the license terms box, then click next. Click custom install only Vance. Custom install Windows only Vance. Okay, um, I had to redo this video again because like, you couldn't see this whatsoever on the screen. There was a recovery partition on this. As I said, if you see the recovery partition on here, if you're going to do this, or think about it clearly before you do it. Because um, you won't be able to reset back to fa uh, Windows 7 factory settings. 
after you delete this partition. So you will, it will looks different right now because I had to start the video again. But um, just so I can help you, just so you can see this better. All right. Basically, once you delete that factor reset, you're not going to. Uh, you can only way you can reset is Windows 10 reset factor reset. I do have a video for that. So, and mind you, this will delete any pictures or documents. I recommend if you can back them up. Uh, you can on a separate drive. So you want to be able to retrieve them again if you don't. So, well, let's get started. Basically, you'll probably see like uh, like four partitions there uh, instead of these just these two. So I'm just redoing this video again, so just for to so you guys see it better. So that's the reason why it is. You want to go ahead and select the first one and click delete. Click OK. Then you want to go to the second one, click delete, click OK. You do the same thing to all the other ones you see, the recovery partition, everything else. As I said, you won't able to recover it back to Windows 7 factory settings if you delete that recovery. Okay, but after you get done, it should look like this. Okay, all right, and after you're ready to go, click new, apply, click OK. That should create you a partition for an OS and cache for your computer. And after you're all set and on done here at this point, just click next. Don't select anything, just click next though. So. And it'll start. Okay, when you get to this point, go ahead and uh, click your Wi-Fi and enter your security key. Normally, it's located on your modem or router. So, if you have, or if you uh, had it made yourself, if you have it written down or remember it, go ahead and enter it. And after that, just click next. Then click use express settings. Okay, if you have a Microsoft account, go ahead and sign into it. If not, if you want to create one, go ahead and create one. You click here to create one, one right here. Or if you don't want to do any of those, just click skip this step down here. Click that. Then you want to enter, uh, type in your name of your choosing. Password is not required. If you want, go ahead and put one in. If you're ready to go, just click next. pretty much how you install Windows 10 off the DVD uh, right now it's already searching for the drivers for the display that's good sign uh, or a couple things you need to look you're not completely finished yet here um, you want to look at and see what devices might need to be installed just in case because it might not install all of them during the updates so you want to go down here to start menu click settings click devices right here you want to go over to the right and go to the scroll bar, go down as far as it goes, and you'll see device manager down here. Click device manager. See, right now there's a couple devices that need to be installed. It's missing. Well, hopefully the Windows updates will pick. Ah, looks like it's already picking them up now. Oh, it's picking up some of them. So that's good. 
Still haven't picked those two up yet. Uh, let's see if we can install the display. No, nope, not yet. Display driver is still generic. That's all. I said Windows updates might pick it up. If not, I will provide the link below in the description. If it needs drivers, it's still going. It's, it's doing the Bluetooth adapter and all that good stuff. So, as you see, it's still doing it. Uh, after you see, uh, it's there. It's still going. Okay, after you see all that, just click exit. The X button up here. So exit that. Uh, exit this too. Then we'll just start the Windows updates, which is already automatically really starting it, but it's still only going to do all at once. Just click start down here. Click settings. Uh, scroll down a bit to the bottom until you see the scroll bar right here. And you see what, updates and security. Click that. Click check for updates. There will be updates, trust me. As you see, they popped up. Lumber drivers. So, it's going to install those drivers. Okay. But that's pretty much it at this point. Um, you want to repeat the uh, check for updates until there's no more updates on that. Repeat that process again, which it just installed the dri display driver, as it just did. That's what it did. That's why it did that. So, don't freak out if it did it for you, too. So it's just installing a display driver. So I found the display driver. But yeah. Okay. Uh, basically, as I said, if it doesn't find all the drivers, I will provide the description. And more likely, it will. So, but repeat this process so there's no more updates. So, it, pretty much it. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you need any questions, just leave a comment below. I'll get to you as soon as I can. More likely, be right, right away. Because usually I'm in front of my computer most of the time, and I will get back to you right away. It, 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 sorry if it took longer, but it, sometimes it, I got I got life too. So <laughs> outside computers, um, but yeah. If, again, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, please uh, thank you for watching it, and have a all good day.